Hey guys, I got the ice cream. Here you go, Chuck. Thanks, Jackson. Here, Noah. These are my favorite. Thanks. Oh, are you guys eating ice cream? I want some. Sorry, Brayden. I don't have any left. Well, you haven't started eating yours yet. Give it to me. No, you didn't even come over here until you saw the ice cream. So give it to me. I'm telling my mom and she's a lawyer. But, okay. Stop. Don't give it to him. Excuse me? You can't just come over here and bully us to take our ice cream. Get out of here. My mom's going to hear about this. You're going to regret it. Noah, what are you doing? Don't you know his mom's a real lawyer? Yeah, his mom is a lawyer, but my aunt's a judge. Hey guys, my mom just gave me the last taritos. Here you go, Noah. Thanks, Jackson. And here you go, Chuck. Whoa, guava, I haven't had this flavor before. Well, those look like some tasty beverages. Oh, hey, Brayden. Well, come on, I'm thirsty. I'm sorry, Brayden, I only have three left. But you didn't give me anything last time, so if you do it again, that means you're bullying. And do I need to remind you that my mom's a lawyer? Brayden, I'm glad you brought that up. I was talking to my aunt, and turns out she works with your mom. Okay, and why do I care? What is she, some secretary? No, she's not a secretary. Her name's Kathy. Hmm, Kathy, doesn't ring a bell. Oh, that's right. I guess her official name is Judge Kathy. What? Your mom is so fat when she goes camping, all the bears hide their food. Oh man, that's a good one. Well, hello, gentlemen. Do y'all have any more of those iced desserts? Oh, hey, Brayden. Don't worry, we have extras this time. Green? I wanted a blue one. Oh, I guess I'll take this. So, what are y'all playing? We're just joking around and telling your mama jokes. Oh, I love that game. Your mama's so fat, she's not a lawyer, but mine is. <laughs> That's not how the game works. You're supposed to come up with a creative joke, not whatever that was. Yeah, like, your mama's so fat, her blood type is spaghetti sauce. What? How dare you say that about my mother? I'm going to tell and you're all going to get in trouble. My mother's coming. You're in for it now. Which one of you bullies is making fun of my son? We're not. We're just telling you mama jokes. No, they said that you were so fat, your blood type spaghetti sauce. What? How dare you hooligans? Where's your father? Hey, I'm right here. You must be Brayden's mom. Nice to meet you. Um, no thanks. COVID. Oh, okay. My apologies. So, uh, what's going on? Your son and his delinquent friends are harassing my boy. No, they weren't. I was watching them. They were telling your mama jokes. How dare you make up these lies about my son? Maybe my aunt can come over and help sort all this out since she works with you. I don't think your aunt works with me. I don't work in fast food. Well, she did work at McDonald's to save up money to go to school before she became a judge. What? My aunt is Judge Kathy. She is? Well, we don't need to turn this little misunderstanding into a big problem. We accept your apology. But we didn't know. Come on, Brayden. Let's go home. But mom! Sheesh! Maybe we should go chill in the backyard and get some privacy. Good idea. Well, at least it should be a little quieter back here. They think they can just get rid of me that easy? I think this is their fence. What? Brayden, is that you? Yes, now open this door. I can. It's locked. Clearly, so unlock it. My dad said we can't have any more people back here. Maybe you can come over next time. Fine, if you're not going to let me in, I'll just get in myself. No, don't do that. This fence is really old. Almost there. <laughs> Brayden, are you okay? Ow, I think I broke my leg. Call my mother. Hey, Brayden, I just called your mom. She's on the way over. And here, I got you some more ice. Thanks, Jackson. Maybe you guys aren't that bad. Where's my son? Calm down, he's okay, he's right here. Oh, my poor baby, what did they do to you? Now, wait a second, the kids didn't do anything to him. Then what happened? He slipped while he was climbing the fence trying to sneak into my backyard. What? Brayden, is that true? Well, technically... Because of their lying, we're gonna sue. They pushed me off the fence. What? I hope you're ready to go to court. Come on, Brayden. Hey, Aunt Kathy, we need some help. Oh, hello, Mark. Oh, great. What do you want now? I just finished writing up the warrant to set our court date. What? Look, I'm sorry your kid got hurt, but he wasn't even on our side of the fence. You may say he wasn't, but he says he was. Yeah, and you don't even have camera, so it's my word against yours. What seems to be the problem here? Yes, Aunt Kathy. Hello, Judge. My little boy got hurt because these monsters pushed him off the fence. Now, my little sweet nephew wouldn't do anything like that. Do you have any proof? What do you mean, proof? Look at his arm. Well, I guess we'll have to review the footage. You can't because there isn't any. He doesn't have a camera. No, he doesn't, but the neighbors do. What? The neighbors have a camera? They sure do, and I already messaged them to ask for the footage. But it's all the way over there. I doubt I can see this area over here. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it can. Oh, look at that. I already got the footage. Well, if it can see this area over here, then good. It can show how your boys knocked my son off the fence. Uh, Mom, actually, here it is. Just let me zoom in here. There he is climbing the fence, and oh, there he goes. Well, this should be a pretty easy case. Give me that. I mean, we don't need to take this to court. I mean, after all, we are neighbors. We are, but maybe you should teach your boy not to lie. That's a very good idea. What? But you're the one that told me to zip it, Brayden. Uh, okay, y'all have a nice day. 
Hey guys, here's some cotton candy. Thanks, man. Mmm, cotton candy, my favorite. Well, that cotton candy looks delicioso. Oh, hey, Brayden. I see your broken arm is already healed. Oh, yes, it is. I heal really fast. The doctors basically say I'm a superhero. More like super annoying. Well, am I just gonna stand here all day or are you gonna give me some cotton candy? Wait, what's in your Walmart bag? Maybe you can share some of what you have for a change. Yeah, right. I'm not sharing my new toys with you. It's okay, Chuck. My dad bought extra. Oh, it's the cheap kind. Thanks. You're welcome. Maybe it won't be that bad. I think he's choking. Hit his back. Okay. <coughs> what? You put a plastic dinosaur in my cotton candy? I'm telling my mother. I don't get how Brayden had that toy in his cotton candy. Do either one of you have one in yours? No, I don't. Just cotton candy. I can't believe you boys are bullying my son again. Where's your father? Oh, hey, Karen. How are you doing today? <coughs> how am I doing? Your boys put this little dinosaur inside my son's cotton candy. Yeah, I choked so hard I almost passed out. Now calm down. I'm sure that toy wasn't in your cotton candy, right, Jackson? Well, technically, I think it was, but see, I told you. I have no idea how that got in there. I'm assuming his behavior will be dealt with. I can't believe you would do something like this. But I didn't. No, get inside. Chuck, Noah, I think you two better be getting home. Come now, Brayden. Justice has been served. Man, it doesn't make sense that that toy was in Brayden's cotton candy. I mean, the bag was sealed. Didn't you see that the dinosaurs were two different colors? Come on, we're going to go have a quick chat with Brayden. <laughs> what are you two doing here? Hey, Brayden, we just wanted to come see how you were feeling. Terrible, my throat hurts so bad I can barely talk. Sorry, man. Are you at least having fun with those new toys? Yes, but you're not gonna see them. You know what, Chuck? I bet his toys are from the dollar store. <laughs> yeah, I bet they're already broken. What? Are you kidding me? My mom's a lawyer. She can buy me the best and most expensive toys. Oh, really? Prove it. Look, this is a limited edition Jurassic World toy. It costs like $20. Even these smaller ones are expensive. Wow, those are really nice. And they look exactly like the ones that you choked on from the cotton candy. Andy. Hello, Mark. Oh, hey, Karen. How's Brayden feeling? Oh, terrible. His throat hurts him so bad he couldn't even sleep last night. We're probably going to have to take him to the hospital. Oh, wow. And I'm assuming you'll be covering those medical bills since this is your son's fault. No, it's not. Chuck, what are you doing here? Noah and I just came from Brayden's house. Yeah, Jackson didn't put that toy in the cotton candy. Brayden staged it himself. What? These boys are probably just lying so that you'll unground your son. No, we're not. Brayden has a bag full of dinosaurs that match the one that he choked on. In fact, we found the one that he choked on in the bag. Oh, really? What? I've never seen those in my life. No, Mom, remember? These are the ones you bought me from. That's enough. Well, I guess we'll see you at the neighborhood cookout. Uh, goodbye. Too bad it's still raining outside. Well, at least we're safe in here from Brayden. Hello? Looks like I spoke too soon. Do you have to let him in? Well, I can't just leave him outside in the rain. About time. Move over. Are you guys doing anything fun in here? I'm bored. Oh, we're about to have some fun. What? Is that the one chip challenge? Yes, but I only have this one, so we have to split it up and each take a little piece. Let me see that. I don't want to split it up. I want the whole piece. Brayden, give that back. That's a really, really hot chip. No, it's not. I can see there's a skeleton on it for Halloween. You just don't want me to have it. No, that's not it. It's not my fault that your mom's poor and can only afford to buy you one. You know what? Go ahead. Eat it. Brayden, are you sure you want to eat that? Yes, I'm going to eat it. You think I'm afraid of a little Halloween chip? You guys weren't going to share, so now I'm going to eat it. Wait, before you open it, you might want to put some gloves on first. I'm not putting a glove on. You think I'm afraid of a little spice? Did you just put the whole chip in your mouth? Ah, I need milk. I'll go get you some. Ow, ow, ow. Here, I got you a glass. Give me that. Mom, they're not working. My mouth is on fire. Here, try an icy. Mm, it's still not working. Call an ambulance and my mother. Hey, I heard screaming from outside. What's going on? Brayden just tried the one chip challenge. What? Where did you get the chip? Chuck brought it over, but Brayden wasn't supposed to eat it. Uh, it hurts so bad. Where's my mother? We already called her. She should be here any moment. Where's my poor baby? I'm over here. I can't feel my tongue. Oh, here. I brought you some milk. I'm so sorry, Susan. I didn't know the kids had that chip. I didn't even want to eat it. They made me. Come on, Brayden. We need to get you to a hospital. Um, guys? What? The cops just pulled in. The cops are here? Yeah, I bet they're here because of Brayden. Sheesh, I don't want to go to jail. Everyone, calm down. I'm sure they're not here because of Brayden. It's probably just a coincidence. Hello? Hi, I'm Officer Dave. I'm looking for Mr. Ryan. Yeah, that's me. Uh, come on in. Thank you. We got a call that a young boy named uh, Brayden tried the one chip challenge here and has since been hospitalized. It was me. I brought the chip, but he wasn't supposed to eat it. I'm so sorry. Please don't lock me up. That's my son's friend. Uh, I'm not his guardian, but I'm sure we can call his mom and figure this whole thing out. That won't be necessary. I'm not here for him. I'm here for you, for child endangerment. What? Oh, Kathy, we need your help now. 
Hey guys, I'm here. Good, now that there's an adult here, we'll be heading down to the station. I'll be back soon, kids. Everything's gonna be okay. Stop, no one's going anywhere. And who are you? I'm Judge Kathy, and I'll be asking the questions. Oh, uh, yes, Judge. Why is he in cuffs? For child endangerment, a local boy was hospitalized because of the one chip challenge. Oh, was he the one that gave him the chip? I don't think so. Then was he the one that bought the chip? No, uh, I don't believe so. Then why is he in cuffs? I'm sorry, just the lawyer that lives across the street. I'm cuff him now. Uh, yeah, of course. Oh no, does this mean I'm going to jail? No, son, but whoever bought you that chip is in a lot of trouble. But nobody bought it for me. It just came in the mail without a name on it. Then it looks like we need to figure out who it came from. This is the box that the chip came in. Interesting, I don't see a return address on it. Then that means it couldn't have been delivered by mail. It must have been hand delivered. And if it was, then it probably would have been somebody local, right? Exactly, and that gives me a little idea. Ah, why is that cop car still here? What, he hasn't been arrested? Oh, I have to do everything myself. Oh, hey Karen, come on in. Okay, why is he still here and not arrested? Don't you know how to do your job? Well, ma'am, it appears that Mark wasn't the one that gave Chuck a chip. It was his mother. We're arresting her now. What? It couldn't have been his mom? Why would she mail the chip to herself? Wait, how do you know the chip was mailed? I don't think I ever mentioned that in front of Brayden. Oh, uh, because I saw the mailman deliver it. Really? Because there's no return address on the box. It couldn't have been mailed. All right, does everybody have their name written down for Secret Santa? Yep, sure do, and I brought the frosty hat. Good, now everybody can put their name in. All right. Pew. Hey, what are you guys doing? Brayden, are you supposed to be at your grandma's while your mom is downtown? No, she's already home. What's the hat for? Secret Santa, but you're definitely not joining. What? What do you mean? Hey, guys, I know things have been really weird recently, but we need to include everybody. It's Christmas time. Fine, here. <laughs> Make sure you shake it up good. I am, okay? Let's draw. Okay. Nice. Awesome. Now, let's see which one I have. Oh, man. Is everybody ready to open up their gifts? I am. Whoa, you got me a controller? I guess great minds think alike. What, you got me one too? Thanks, Noah. I'm so glad we did the Xbox theme for gifts. I guess it's our turn now. Here you go, Brayden. Wow, this is small. Here's yours. What, you actually got me something? And it's pretty heavy. Of course it's heavy. My mom's a lawyer. She could fill that up with gold if she wanted to. Well, it's not that heavy. What, you actually got me an Xbox? What is this, a little cheap fidget toy? Yeah, I didn't realize you were gonna get me something so nice. Give me that back. I should have known you were gonna get me anything good i'm telling my mother mark hey what's going on this is what's going on whoa and what's this supposed to be it's supposed to be a gift for my son brayden okay and what's wrong with it he doesn't like poppets are you kidding me he buys a 300 dollars xbox and that's all he gets in return okay but it's a christmas gift it's not supposed to be about the price and besides he took the xbox back so what's the big deal no he didn't my son doesn't even play video games um actually mom i did but brayden you know they rot your brains that's why we got it for jackson wait what come on mom i just wanted to play some fortnite no not under my house. Sorry about all this commotion, Mark. Come on, Brayden. We're going home. Here's the popcorn I was telling you guys about. Mm. Wow, blueberry is busted. Mmm, cotton candy is really good, too. Well, 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 what do we have here? <sighs> hey, Brayden. Those look like some tasty snacks. They are. Do you want some? Ew, gross. I'm not eating that after your filthy hand has already been inside the bag. Well, I have these two that haven't been opened yet. Well, I definitely don't want that Takis popcorn. Give me the other. Jeez, would it kill you to say please? Uh, this flavor is... I don't care what flavor it is. I just want to try some. <sighs> Pickles. Mm, wait, did you say pickle? I'm allergic to pickle. What? Are you being serious? Mom, come quick. Man, I hope Brayden's okay. Me too. I had no idea he was allergic to pickles. Mark! Hey, Karen, how's Brayden? Terrible! He's swollen up like a balloon! I'm sorry, I didn't realize he had allergies. You never mentioned anything. What? Are you blaming me for this? No, no, no. I just didn't realize he had a problem with pickles. I mean, he ate cucumbers at the barbecue. That's because he's allergic to the dill and dill pickles, not cucumbers. Oh, so he was allergic to the dill and the popcorn seasoning? Obviously, aren't you listening? Yeah, but the thing is, this popcorn is flavored sweet pickle, not dill. <laughs> What? No, he wasn't allergic to the popcorn. Yes, he is. He just must have been allergic to a different ingredient. Yeah, or he's faking it. How dare you? Yes, he is. His cheeks are as puffy as a panda's. Mm. Whoa, Brayden, your cheeks do look pretty swollen. Mm-hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. You can't even talk? It's because the swelling is so severe, he's probably gonna have to have surgery. Oh, really? Poor Brayden. Yeah, I'm sure his mom could never afford that. What? Are you serious? My mom makes twice as much as your dad. Wait, is that marshmallows? Oh, uh, the doctor said the marshmallows help with swelling. Come on, Brayden, let's go home. There we go. Okay, I did it. This is gonna be so funny. I know, I can't wait to see my brother's reaction. Didn't he just buy the car? Yep, just brought it home yesterday. Do you think he's really gonna fall for it? Yeah, it looks legit, and I told him I've seen a bunch of the neighborhood cats up on the cars. What are you guys up to? Oh, hey, Brayden, we're just, uh, pulling a little prank. Oh, cool, I wanna be in it. I love pranks. Well, we've already set it up. 
Yeah, we're just watching that car over there. What? Why are y'all watching my mom's car? Ew, what is this? I bet it was one of those kids. Good thing I have cameras. I thought you said that was your brother's car. I thought it was. I would have pranked it if I knew it was hers. Haha, <laughs> you guys are in for it now. Don't worry, kids. I have an idea. Mark! Oh, yes, Karen? Your son and his friends were messing with my car. No, they weren't. They've been here the whole time. How dare you sit there and lie right to my face. I have the whole thing recorded. So you do have a camera. What do you mean? Well, the cops weren't able to figure out who dented Miss Anderson's parked car. Okay, uh, what does that have to do with me? Well, as I recall, they weren't able to find any footage. So? So, why didn't you show them? Unless you have something to hide. What are you accusing me of? My fresh paint job has nothing to do with Miss Anderson's car. Oh, really? You know what? Uh, forget everything. Don't worry about it. Come on, Brayden. Let's go. Hey guys, you ready to play some four square? That sounds fun, but we don't have a fourth. One of us could play two squares. No, that would be too hard. Well, I kind of already got us a fourth. And who's that? Hey guys, how's it going? Oh, hey Brayden, you coming here to sue me? No, I asked my mother and she said one ice cream wasn't enough to sue over. Okay, well, do you even know how to play? Of course I know how to play. I'm like the king of four square. I'm sure you are. Okay, here, you can serve. Oh, you're gonna regret that. Ow! Brayden, are you okay? Ow, I tripped over the stupid toy. Sorry, I guess we forgot to put it away. That's negligence. After I tell my mom, we're going to own your house. Hi, right, I'm Brayden. I'm going to do the Jarritos challenge. It's not Jarritos, it's Jarritos. Yeah, whatever. Mmm, that first one is coconut. Um, what? What do you mean? Wow, stop cheating. You're no, cheating. I'm not cheating. I just looked at the one. Mmm, that one's watermelon. That one's lime. That one's mango. Mmm, and that last one is definitely grapefruit. Wrong. What? What do you mean? It's so grapefruit. I switched it. Why? You can't do that. That's cheating. You cheated. I win. Bye. Hey, do you guys want to try some of my chocolate? Oh, wow. Valentine's candy. Looks like somebody's got a new girlfriend. No, it's from my mom. She gets me some every year. Aw, how sweet. Ha <laughs> ha. Do you want some or not? Hello, gentlemen. Oh, hey, Brayden. I'm guessing you want some, too? No, I don't want any of that cheap chocolate. Wow, that's a first. Then why are you here? I'm actually here for some advice. Oh, really? Uh, go ahead. Well, I was wondering, how do I ask somebody to be my valentine? Oh, wow, uh, I would just get some flowers and a nice card. Ooh, good idea. Um, and I have one more question. Yeah? What kind of flowers does your sister like? 